You know, for as calm as he is, he really does like to wrestle. Hey, buddy. It's about 11 p.m. and he's doing really good. He's sleeping a lot, he's playing, he's going potty outside, he hasn't had an accident inside the house yet, so, so far really good. Good morning, Baker. How are you, buddy? And then Jake had his breakfast. There's Jake, and he's excellent. He's doing so good. So Jake had a good night last night. Um, he started by sleeping in bed with us, but then um, probably about like an hour into it, um, he wanted to get off the bed. So Eric slept on the couch, and then Jake slept on the floor next to Eric. Um, and we've had two little piddles in the house, but one was by the back door. Um, Jake is awesome. He's doing so good. We were really lucky with this puppy. <laughs> Gotta give paper lots of love too. Yeah, you're a good boy. Well, you're a good boy. Yes, you are. I'm very proud of you. Very proud. Of you. This is a well-adjusted puppy. He's sleeping. He's got his little lovey with the heartbeat. He has his Ryobi fan. And we're outside. And we're leaving him here in the living room. He's pretty exhausted, which is normal. Um, but we're very surprised about how he will just keep sleeping. And we're outside, and we just come in, we keep checking on him, but he's happy. Being in here, he's getting a really nice midday snooze in. He loves this Ryobi fan. And I love it too because it has a battery pack, or you can use the plug, so it can go wherever Jake goes. Sleep tight, little buddy. So I moved Jake from the living room, who's snoozing pretty good, into his kennel contraption. Um, gave him some treats, kind of lured him in there, gave him lots of praise, but I was very quiet and calm when I was doing this. And I'm hoping he will go back to sleep. I left the door open. And if he comes out, that's fine, right? Um, but just to start getting him going into his kennel and allowing him to know that that's a good place for him to relax. Here he is again in his crate that opens up to this little play area. We have both doors open. We'll close them slowly for the course of a couple of days. We had a little treat in there. 
and he's going in there on its own a little bit, so that's good. So good progress. So it's about 2.15. Um, we are approaching our 24 hour mark with um, having the first 24 hours with our Bernie's Mountain Dog puppy. Things are going really well. Um, pretty much the whole house is snoozing at this point, uh, including Eric as he was up with Jake for most of the night, um, which is totally normal with a brand new puppy. Jake right now is sleeping on his back right by me. Um, as he's sleeping, I am not trying to be quiet. I am going through what I would normally do. Um, as far as just kind of picking up the house, I am opening and closing doors, cabinet doors, walking right by him, things like that. Um, and the next day, we will be working on getting him used to things such as the vacuum cleaner, um, the electronic mop that we use for our floors, and just other noises, hair dryers, things like that. We'll all do that very slowly, um, and we'll watch for his signals when um, we might be pushing him a little too much. But overall, he's an amazing dog. I can't thank his breeder, Lynn Washburn, enough for all the work that she did on her end, as she exposed him to a lot when he was living with her and his litter mates and his mom and his grandma and auntie. So that really helped too. Um, Jake is an awesome dog. So if you have any questions about what we did or why we did it, uh, send us a comment and we will definitely reply to you. We hope this video is helpful in all of our videos um, that are coming. And um, there's a video that we showed about how we introduced Baker, our four-year-old boxer, to Jake because Baker is a very high energy four-year-old boxer. And so we were very careful on how we introduced those two and now they're best friends. Um, <laughs> and I'm uh, just trying to think if there's anything else that I could do. Um, I'm really glad we picked up the house before we got Jake. I'm really glad we had all the time. So it took us a good six months to find a breeder who we loved and who would have a litter ready. And um, we, couldn't, we couldn't be more happy with what we have. Um, we uh, decided that consistency is amazing and so Eric and I use the same lingo when we are working with Jake but we're already used to that with Baker um, but just we use the same code words for when we want Jake to go outside to go potty um, for a uh, number one it's go piddle and for number two it's go poo that way he's hearing the same words over and over and over again um, Eric is working on clicker training him I am working on him uh, with recall which is awesome and I hope to have another video with that too um, but if there's anything you want to see let us know we're thrilled we're so glad we can share this experience with you and uh, like and subscribe for more videos we're not trying to earn any money or anything we're just so excited about our Bernie's Mountain Dog puppy and um, hope our adventure can help others or at least bring some smiles so thank you so much